Okay, so we just got a shipment from FedEx. Uh, these are the muscle racks that I purchased from Walmart. Uh, these are about $225 each. Uh, these are the wire racks here. So I got three of them. And what we're doing is we're setting these up uh, for the A1 printers here. So we're setting them up here. Uh, we're going to create another one or one and another two uh, racks just like this for our A1 printers. Um, so this is how the space is looking now. And we have to set up these A1 printers uh, sometime this week. So yeah, so we don't have a, uh, a mallet. So what we're doing is we're just taking a uh, this end of the screwdriver here and a towel and kind of just whacking this uh, down because we don't have um, just like this. We're just going. seems to be working perfectly fine and then we just got to install the, the cross beams here on each level and then put the wire racks into position and then this rack will be done all right so so you use these included screws to uh, basically secure these cross beams into place you don't really need to install these uh, when the printers are printing it doesn't really shake these racks much at all just because of the weight of the printers on here but um, basically what you do is you just come over here uh, and you know you put the screw in from the bottom and then you screw it in with the nut from the top and so we'll go and tighten these with a screw uh, if I'm underneath, just kind of screw it in while holding the nut from the top, and that should be all set. Alright, so the rack is fully assembled now. Uh, all the cross beams are in place, and the wire shelving is on top. Uh, this one came kind of a little bit bent um, up here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, should be fine since I'm only using the top space really for storage. Uh, and What's cool with this, if you notice, um, we have extra end pieces here because you're able to piggyback off one of these uh, you, can, you can use one of these and kind of combine them into uh, use it for two shelves. So down the line, when I have, if I have extra shelves, I can use those extra uh, end pieces and create more shelving uh, probably for storage for plastic and so so this is the final setup right now uh, we still have two more uh, to assemble which will go right here and then we'll assemble the printers and then we'll see I'll probably order more racks in a few days and get those set up as well all right, so here is the final assembly of all the racks fully set up. Uh, we have two extra end pieces. Actually, I lied. We have three extra end pieces. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, we're probably we can probably push out these racks and make another row here for each one. Uh, and hmm. I'm gonna look to see if maybe I could just order the bean pieces, which I doubt you can. So. You might have to take some bean pieces from these other shelves that are not that we're not using. So like this is just storage here. We can use the beans from this rack to bump out another row of racks. We'll see how that looks. Uh, but so far, this is what it's going to look like. Again, we just need the electrician to come and set up the electricity. Uh, we'll run the uh, extension cords up on the ceiling and drop them down into each respective uh, row of printers. And so yeah, if you like this type of uh, content, just like and subscribe and follow for more. I'll be doing more updates on the print farm and the setup. See you in the next video.